Welcome back. Well, I've finished the uh, back section of the body now. You can see the tail light um, mounts are all in place. The exhaust is finished off. And I'm finally getting around to installing the console. And then I'm going to start on this front bonnet. So, just with the console, um, I just knocked up a bit of a top plate. So, this is a bit of brushed stainless steel. The white there is just a bit of a uh, plastic sheeting to protect the finish and you can see there I'm just going to make it sit on top I'm going to have a ring around uh, the edges uh, just with some countersunk bolts or not countersunk probably socket head bolts you can see the taco fits in there got a little hole for the steering and after this you can see here I've cut a little slot for the choke so that's pretty much done I'm just going to put that to one side until the final install um, so with the console done, uh, here's a close-up of the tail lights. Uh, it turned out really good. I think it's going to look awesome. And you can see on the bodywork here, it's completely done with the gear selector sort of console there as well. Uh, you can see underneath, it's it was a massive work. I uh, wouldn't want to do this again, but um, come up good. Next or final stage will just be a bit of body filler and spray painting which will be easy compared to what I've had to do so far so here's the front bonnet um, I'm gonna lengthen that by 150 mil so it's just a bit of a coincidence that the rear is 150 mil wider on each side and as is the bonnet um, I do want it to look like the original mold design so I'm going to just do the front section of this bonnet first and then uh, the stock setup had like a plastic um, plastic front with headlights in it, so I'm going to do something similar. Uh, make it a bit more of an open grille design, and I still want to have headlights in it, but I'll probably remake it out of uh, metal. So here's a couple of like uh, fins, I suppose you'd call them, that I'm going to use on the top of the bonnet. So as I make it longer, I want to install these twin twin sort of uh, fins and then in between those uh, there'll be a big gap and then I'll put some mesh so I can get some really good airflow so you know with a motorbike engine especially in this sort of setup you want to make sure there's good flow so I'll probably put a, a fan up front as well so there's sort of what the fins will look like matching what's already there uh, like the rear body just cut it down the sides and I made the cut towards the front and then I inserted the new bit of uh, sheet metal and as I said it's 150mm longer so it's a fair, fair bit of messing about but nothing like the rear end um, I'll just slowly work my way through this uh, as I say this is just a quick video just to see so you can see where, where things are at um, once I get this bit done I'm uh, then going to get onto that front headlight section, which uh, I still need to think about a bit more. It's going to be a massive work that, but uh, I do want it to be right because it's going to be uh, what probably makes or breaks the uh, bodywork design. So there we have it. I'll just show you what it looks like sitting on the engine. Um, so you get a bit of a look at how it's how it's going to finish up. I actually had to remove the gear lever from the motorbike engine because it was fouling on the on that bonnet so I'll just widen it a bit more to make it sit out a bit further you can see on this side of mark where I'm going to put a bit of mesh on the side as well and I'll cut some of the base away so I can see a bit more of the engine and as I said then the last step will be that front headlight area and then I'll put some probably some sort of gas struts to make it lift up and look uh, pretty different to everything else that's out there so a bit more to go uh, but it is starting to look really good so um, stay tuned